Hey, Clark Covington here with Nick Campisi. Nick, how are you? Fantastic, Clark. And yourself? Doing great. Nick, I want to talk to you a little bit today about Playground Rubber Mulch. What exactly is that? Playground Rubber Mulch is a rubber product underneath a playground for fall safety. And, you know, it, it, it's typically a tire-based product. And it's, the whole design is just to help reduce playground, industry, or playground injuries on, you know, from kids falling or tripping uh, underneath swings, slides, you know, and other structures. Sure. And how long has this, uh, you know, playground mulch been around as, as a play surface? You know, from my industry experience, you know, I see that it, it kind of came about sometime around the 1980s where people started chopping up tires and throwing them on playgrounds. Okay, and um, what are the different types of playground rubber mulch? So, you know, you, you really have a couple different things in the marketplace. You have companies that just chop up tires, and then you have people that go a step further, they'll chop it up, and they'll actually put a coating on it to keep all the nasty black stuff from getting on kids. You know, and, and, and then, you know, the third would be what our company does, Jelly Bean, and we make a non-tire virgin rubber mulch. Okay, and can you give me an idea of tire rubber mulch versus non, uh, non-tire non uh, virgin rubber mulch in terms of how long the product lasts? So, you know, they're both vulcanized products. So, you know, I mean, we have a 60-year test on our product, and, and realistically, you know, there's no, no reason why, you know, a tire rubber might not necessarily, um, you know, provide good fall data. For that long however a couple things you know that you know the older the tire rubber gets we're starting to have a lot of people who bought tire rubber even 5 10 even 15 years ago who are saying you know it starts breaking and you know the kids are starting to get black streaks on the clothes and and whatnot or the coating coming off so i mean ultimately you know vulcanized rubber is hard to destroy and you know the jelly bean rubber it's a little higher durometer rubber than tire based rubber so you know we put a full 20 year one on our product that it won't degrade. Okay, so a 20-year uh, warranty that it won't degrade. That's correct. And what are some other benefits of using playground rubber mulch? Well, you know, ultimately, you got to have a safety surface under a playground. And so, you know, the bottom of the level, really the most expensive over time is throwing wood chips down because you constantly have to replace them. They're constantly rotty, and they're less than back the next day after you put them in because they, they degrade so fast. You know, I talked to someone this morning that, you know, their issue is, is heck, you know, we got we got kids that, are, you know, have mold allergies and, and this, this wood's molding. You know, going to a synthetic-based product long-term is lower cost, a little higher cost up front. And so, you know, I, I, we, we see more, you know, as you look at over time, a synthetic product really being a smart choice for a playground. Sure. And what's the difference between pre-consumer and post-consumer rubber mulch? So pre-consumer would be like jelly bean rubber. That's rubber that, you know, we're, we're taking a rubber tile that's designed for a child to play on. And this, you know, we're taking the excess, the trimmings, the things that don't meet scrap, we up it up. And that's where we make the product. You know, a post-consumer product would be like a tire because it's used on a car. You know, it's been on the roadway, you know, or, or, or some form of other rubber even could be, you know, post-consumer if it was a gasket or something. Sure. And if people want to learn more about Jelly Bean uh, Playground Rubber Mulch, how could they find out? Is there a website they can go to? Yeah, so if you go to www.jellybeanrubbermulch. Dot com. Great. And you can also fill out the contact form there and uh, feel free to send us any questions. Awesome, Nick. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you.